Komsomol Skonomor, a prototype of the Superjet aircraft, has successfully completed its inaugural flight with domestically produced PD-8 engines. This event signifies the start of flight tests for the PD-8 as part of the Superjet program. Test pilots Dmitry Demenev and Igor Grevtsov, as well as flight operator Maxim Gryukhanov, operated as the crew responsible for the flight. The aircraft attained an altitude of 3,000 meters and a speed of 500 kilometers per hour during its approximately 40-minute flight. The crew commander reported that the flight mission was finished in its entirety after landing. The stable operation of the PD-8 engine power unit was evaluated during the flight, which involved an evaluation of the engine's gas dynamic stability in both constant and variable operating modes. Denis Mantarov, first deputy prime minister of the Russian Federation and chairman of the supervisory board of Rostec State Corporation, said, the aircraft with the PD-8 power unit has joined flight tests. This is an important and long-awaited step towards certifying a technologically independent version of the Superjet. The full dedication and perseverance of the engine manufacturers have enabled the aircraft to successfully complete its first flight with Russian engines. To accelerate certification tests, the manufacturer plans to introduce a third, fully Russian Superjet into the program. We expect this work to proceed on schedule, and the government is providing full financial and resource support to aircraft manufacturers. The Yakovlev Company of the United Aircraft Corporation is leading a vast network of enterprises within Rostec that are engaged in the Superjet Import Substitution Program. Experts from the United Engine Corporation, UEC, have devised the new Russian power units. The aircraft with serial number 95157, which was manufactured in 2018, was the prototype Superjet that was used for the first flight with domestic engines. It is important to note that the Sukhoi Superjet 100, SSJ-100 aircraft, which has Western components, has been equipped with the PD-8 engine. According to recent updates, the PD-8 engine was effectively integrated and the SSJ-100 was turned on for the first time in October 2024. The Franco-Russian SAM-146 engines are being replaced by this engine as part of Russia's initiative to develop an import-substituted version of the SSJ-100 in response to international sanctions. As per the Russian officials, integrating the PD-8 into existing aircraft would be very costly. This engine will be integrated with the fully Russian SJ-100 in the future. The Superjet is undergoing the replacement of approximately 40 imported systems and components as part of the import substitution project. These systems and components include the engine, avionics, landing gear, auxiliary power unit, integrated control system, electrical power supply, air conditioning, fire protection systems, and more. Furthermore, the aircraft has been equipped with a domestic fuselage that has been redesigned to facilitate production and maintenance. UAC CEO Vadim Baiha said, The first flight of the Superjet with the PD-8 engine is, on one hand, the culmination of extensive and complex work carried out in collaboration with our colleagues at UEC. On the other hand, it marks the beginning of a crucial new phase, testing the engine as part of the aircraft. The flight tests of the PD-8 engines on the Superjet are starting with an aircraft in its serial configuration, but still equipped with imported systems. This is because the level of novelty in testing such critical components, like the engine, must be increased gradually. This approach will allow us to maintain the necessary certification pace while refining technical solutions to enable the future re-engining of the existing Superjet fleet. He further noted that the introduction of a completely Russian-configured aircraft into flight tests would facilitate the testing of the interaction between the PD-8 power unit and domestic systems during the certification process. Alexander Grachev, CEO of UEC, said, The flight of the aircraft with new domestic PD-8 engines has been one of the most anticipated events of the year. The engine demonstrated excellent performance and fully confirmed all its technical characteristics. I am grateful to the entire large team of UEC and UAC, as well as the leadership of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, Rosa Viatsia, Rostec, and the N.E. Zhukovsky Institute for this collective achievement. By the end of March, we plan to deliver two more prototype PD-8 engines for further flight tests. 
The type certificate for the PD-8 engine is expected to be obtained in the fall of this year. Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov said, Today's flight confirms the accuracy of our engineering calculations and the high readiness of the aircraft. The project is being implemented in extremely tight timeframes by global aviation industry standards. Since 2022, the Superjet has essentially had to be rebuilt from scratch. At the same time, the engine is one of the key elements of the import substitution program. It is the heart of the aircraft. There is still a lot of work and many flights ahead. In April, another fully Russian aircraft with PD-8 engines will join the certification flight tests. Developed for the Superjet passenger aircraft and the BE-200 amphibious aircraft, the PD-8 is a dual-circuit turbofan engine that generates an 8-ton thrust. It has been created through the collaboration of UEC companies and the application of advanced technologies and novel Russian materials, as well as the knowledge acquired from the development of the PD-14 engine. Now, do you think Western manufacturers have lost the market of 8-ton engines in Russia and some other parts of the world? Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.